It's story time. It's story time. Come on, gather around because it's story time. Welcome to the story time with me. We're gonna read books. We're gonna have some laughs. We're gonna smile today. We're gonna have a lot of laughs because it's story time with Nina. Story time with Nina. Story time with Nina. Story time with me. Okay, Bookie. Bookie, are we ready? Is it time to reveal our costumes? Are you ready? I think I'm ready to reveal why I'm gonna leave Halloween with you. Let's do it. Okay, Bookie, here we go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Bucky, look at us. We're just two vampires who are looking for a good blood donor. <laughs> I love to be a vampire, Dina. Wait, oh, you even have a character voice, Bucky. That's amazing. I know. I have done some vampire research. Oh, oh. now, Bucky, let's smile really big and show everybody our fangs. I love your teeth. Thank you so much, Dina. I have been looking all over for something to do for Halloween, and I knew I had to just be a vampire. Because, oh, oh, the story that I have heard about a vampire, I love that. They seem so interesting and fun and magical. And I have a mustache because I like to have a mustache with my vampires. I love that, Bookie. Happy Halloween. I can't believe it's finally here. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. We want to sing Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody at home. Now, Bookie, we have a really great story. And I'm going to bring you back to the episode a little bit later. But we have to read our Halloween story for today. Oh, I would like that a lot. But can we also have the drag alphabet in honor of the Halloween fun? Hey, JJ, can we have the drag alphabet? I would like the drag alphabet, JJ. JJ. Hey, kids, you know what's even more fun than the alphabet? The drag alphabet. I need your help to sing it with me. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! A is for absolutely, absolutely. B is for busted, C is for clock that mug, and D is for divine. Health. E is for everything, and F is for fierceness, G is for get em girl, and H comes before I. J is for Jush, K is for Kiki, L is for let em have it, M is for mug, and N of course is for... Nina! O is for oh, M P is for painting, Q is for queen, and R is for ruin, S is for Shantae, you deadly, T is for throwing shade, and you give me life, girl, be ba ba boom like W, you work it. X is for extra, Y is for jazz, Z is for jaja, this is the end, let's all do the conga. That was so much fun to watch the Delega ah, ah, ah. Bookie is going to get a little sippy for the story time because we like to have our sips and I think Bookie's going to have some juice today. I myself am drinking some water. But it is Halloween, so maybe you're drinking apple cider or you're having your some delicious uh, potion. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A happy Halloween. <laughs> These teeth are so much fun. Costumes are fun. Are you in costume today? What are you dressed up as? Oh, wow. I'm hearing a lot of different things like an astronaut and a tin man and Elsa. Let it go. Let it go. The 
puppy. I love puppies. Like, like Paw Patrol puppy, those are the best. And someone's dressed as a car. Honk, honk. Another people, someone's dressed as Ruth Bader Ginsburg. That's awesome. That's very cool. Remember, whatever you're dressed as, even if I didn't say it or shout out loud, it's probably still the best costume ever. And I just want to say thanks for watching in costume today. Happy Halloween. <laughs> now, we did our drag off event. So I wonder what our letter is today on Halloween. I bet it's a, uh, huh, <sighs> H, H. Today's letter is H, H. Hello, Halloween. Hello, Halloween. H begins with, hello begins with H. Halloween begins with H. H is also the first letter in a word like Hayes Bar. Mm, delicious. <laughs> Get, let me open that wrapper. I love Heath Bar. Get it, chocolatey goodness. Heath Bar. H is for Heath Bar. H is also the first letter in a word like Haunted House. Welcome to my haunted house where ghosts fly around with pumpkins because it is Halloween. Haunted House. House. Two H's for you. Haunted house. Halloween. Three H's for you. Hello, haunted house on Halloween. Four H's for you. Wow. H is also the first letter in a word like headless horseman. Whoa, JJ, you can be double H's. Headless horseman could be found at a haunted house on Halloween. It's a lot of hey, H's. H's. H is also the first letter in a word like Hayride! We're going to a hayride and we're gonna have some fun because it's Halloween here with no story time Nina's. No, we're gonna do the fun with story time with Nina on a hayride and that's lots of fun. Singing songs, making them up. Hayride, lots of fun. My new single, now available on iTunes. H is also a first later word like. That's it. H. Halloween! <laughs> you know, I'm going to reach my hand into our lucky uh, bucket of Halloween tricks and treats. And today we have our final book of the Halloween season. And this was the first book I picked up to read, actually, during the month of October. And it's our final book that we're going to read. I'm going to read it with these teeth in my mouth. <laughs> Age is not found in the title of this book. <laughs> but this is an old tale, an old poem written in 1829 by Mary Howitt called The Spider and the Fly. And it's beautifully illustrated by Tony D. Tara Lizzie. And it's, I'm so excited to share this very dark and mysterious tale called The Spider and the Fly. Welcome to Storytime with Nina. Now, before we get started, do you have your magic potions? Are you ready for the sips? And the snacks, are you ready to cuddle up for a spooky story time with me, Nina? Let's do it! The Spider and the Fly. Simon & Schuster Books presents The Spider and the Fly. Look at that big old haunted house. That looks super scary. Huh. And if we get a little closer, you see at the bottom right, there's a little fly who's flown up to this giant big, man big mansion looking in the window. Based on the poem by Mary Hewitt with illustrations by Tony D. Terlizzi, The Spider and the Fly. It looks like the, the fly goes inside and meets a spider. Will you walk into my park? said the spider to the fly. Tis the prettiest little parlor that ever you did spy. The way into my parlor is up a winding stair, and I have many a curious things to show you when you are there. And the spider looks super spooky. He's like, go into my parlor. I swear I will not bite. Well, I don't know about you, but that spider is giving me a fright. And this fly says, oh, oh, no, no, said the little fly. To ask me is in vain, for who goes up your winding stair can ne'er come down again. So the fly is saying, oh, no, 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 no,
stay with me at home. No, 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 I'm sure you must be weary, dear, with soaring up so high. Will you rest upon my little bed? said the spider to the fly. There are pretty curtains drawn around. The sheets are fine and thin. And if you like to rest a while, I'll snugly tuck you in. <laughs> now, what do you see in this illustration of the spider talking to the fly? I see the ghosts of other bugs looking on, and I see the spider resting his long spidery legs on the top of a ladybug. And there's even a bug holding up the table with the cookbook. <gasps> what? There's a Joy of Cooking Bugs cookbook on the table? Things don't look too promising for our fly. Page turn. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, stay with me. Oh, no, no said the little fly, for I often heard it said, they never, never wake again who sleep upon your bed. And if you look, the, the fly is pulling back the, the curtain to the bed that's drawn, and you can see the ghost bugs holding the joy of cooking bugs cookbook. Yeah, 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 yeah. Said the cunning spider to the fly, dear friend, what can I do? to prove the warm affection I've always felt for you. I have within my pantry good store of all that's nice. I'm sure you're very welcome. Will you please to take a slice? Oh, the spider is looking on at the, what, the, at what he's serving the fly. And if you look at, the, look at the table, JJ, pull up that table. Look at the illustration. When you look at the candle, do you see the bug, the corpse bug holding up the candles? and all over the table, it's all bugs. The spider is serving bugs to the fly. And she looks very dismayed. She looks, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and as she says, oh, no, 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 said the little fly. Kind sir, that cannot be. I've heard what's in your pantry, and I do not wish to see. And you can see the fly going, oh, no, 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 she said. She said, oh, no, 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 keep that away from me. Happy Halloween. I don't want to see. Sweet creature, said the spider, you're witty and you're wise. How handsome are your gauzy wings? How brilliant are your eyes? I have a little looking glass upon my parlor shelf. If you'd step in one moment, dear, you shall behold yourself. Now the spider is trying to woo our fly into the house, into the parlor, so he can eat her. And he's showing this beautiful picture, and you can see the ghost of the bugs walking away and the beautiful image of her in the mirror. And he's saying, look how gorgeous you are. I want you to see. Oh, but the, but the fly says, thank you, gentle sir. She said, for what you please to say, and bidding you good morning now, I'll call another day. And as the, fl the, fly, the fly is trying to leave and she waves goodbye, she's got her back. She says, no, no, I'm good. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm good. The spider turned him round about and went into his den. For well he knew the silly fly would soon come back again. So he wove a subtle web in a little corner sly and set his table ready to dine upon the fly. That spider is very cunning and what he's up to no good because he wants to eat the fly, the beautiful little fly, he wants to eat the fly. Crawled up at the top of that dollhouse, and he says, then, came, then he came out to his door again and merrily did sing. Come hither, hither, pretty fly, with the pearl and silver wing. Your robes are green and purple. There's a crest upon your head. Your eyes are like bright diamonds bright, but mine are dull as lead. He's trying to woo in the fly again. Oh. 
alas, alas, how very soon this little, this silly little fly, hearing his willy flattering words, comes slowly flitting by. With buzzing wings, she hung aloft, then near and nearer drew, thinking only of her brilliant eyes and green and purple hue, thinking only of her crested head, poor foolish thing, at last. And you notice in the illustration, spiders kissing the fly's little hand. Up jumped the cunning spider and fiercely held her fast. <gasps> no, no, no. The spider has pulled the fly into this little hat of his. He shoved her in. <gasps> he dragged her up his winding stair into his dismal den within his little parlor. But she ne'er came down again. And you can see. You look at that illustration. Little flies wrapped up tight, waiting to be eaten by that giant spider. But she's not the only one in the web. She is a meal for later. And now, dear little children, who may this story read, to idle, silly, flattering words, I pray you ne'er give heed. Unto an evil counselor, close heart and eye and ear, and eye, and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly. And we see the headstone of that little fly and the ghosts of all the other bugs comforting her as she has been eaten by the spider. <laughs> but no, no, there's a note from the spider who wants us to know. Dear sweet creature, no doubt you've finished our delicious tale and are surprised by this little tragedy. But then again, what did you expect from a story about a spider and a fly? Happily ever after? Spiders are trappers, for goodness sake. We've been doing it for generations and we're quite good at it. Even your beloved Charlotte in E.B. White's classic Charlotte's Web admitted as much. But alas, the poor dear never capitalized on her fortune. Now, if I were her in her shoes, I would be eating bacon. With the wealth of knowledge about spiders and our crafty carnivorous ways, you'd think my web would be empty. But not a day passes without a hapless bug or two stopping by. <laughs> What's a spider to do? To be completely fair, my most recent dinner guest put up a commendable fight. But I'm a talented and persistent hunter with many schemes up my sleeve. And you can see, I always get my bug. <laughs> So what does all of this talk about spiders and traps have to do with you? Be warned, little dears, and know that spiders are not the only hunters and bugs are not the only victims. Take what has transpired within these pages to heart, or you might well find yourself trapped in some schemer's web. Bon appetit, spider. The end. Well, well, well. Oh, no, 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 no. That was for certain a most perilous tale. And what a way to end our series of Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. From all of us, a story time to you. Happy Halloween. And this is a spider and a fly. And before we go, I think my friend wants to say goodbye before we go. We have trick-or-treating to do. So me and Bookie are going to go do that, aren't we, Bookie? We sure are. We got to go out and we got to go make sure we get all of the candy. And JJ, you're going to come too, right, JJ? We have trick-or-treating to do. We do have trick-or-treating to do. Thank you so much for joining us for the month of October and these spooky, scary, wonderful stories at Storytime with Nina. Remember, 
You all you have to do is crack open a good book to go on an adventure. It could be on a mysterious dark spider web that we go to. Or maybe you can catch up with Buffy Summers in Sunnydale. But we've had all of the fun this Halloween season. Now, don't worry. There's more fun coming. In fact, a very super special episode on Election Day celebrating well, my pick for the, for the candidate of presidency and much more. November comes with books about thanks. December comes with books about holiday season, including Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, and Christmas. And, of course, January comes with all new stories just here with Storytime with Nina. We thank you for making my wonderful October so fantastic. Bookie, did you have a good time? Oh, I sure did have a really wonderful time. Let's go take a treat. Hello, everybody. Happy Halloween. I bought the song. Get on. Oh, happy Halloween. You are wonderful. You're one of a kind, like a lucky star. You light up my life, so keep on smiling, keep on shining. Go big, be kind, be you. Now sing this to someone you love, someone you think is very special. You are wonderful, you're one of a kind, like a lucky star. You light up my life. So keep on smiling, keep on shining, go big, be kind, be you. Anytime you're feeling sad and blue, remember you're special, cause there's only one you. You are wonderful, you're one of a kind, like a lucky star, you light up my life. So keep on smiling, keep on shining, go big, be kind, be you. Thank you for singing with me, and always remember just how special you really are. Go big, be kind, be you. Go big, be kind, be you.